Daily Station and THQ Nordic have both revealed the dates for their special showcases this September, Minecraft Live is confirmed for October, and Destiny 2's newest patch is bringing cross-platform voice chat to the game. I'm Persia, and this is today's GameSpot News Update. Sony has announced a PlayStation Showcase for September 9th, where it's planning to talk about some upcoming games as titles like Horizon Forbidden West and more are coming out in 2022. Sony says that this event will be around 40 minutes in length and will begin at 1pm Pacific, 4pm Eastern, giving viewers a glimpse into the future of the PS5 console and games releasing this holiday and beyond. Fans can expect news from PlayStation Studios and industry developers, as well as a post-show presentation for more updates from some of the studio teams featured in the event. One part of the PlayStation experience that won't be making an appearance though is Sony's next generation of virtual reality, but there will be plenty of great PS5 games from developers large and small, according to the company. Now that games such as Returnal and Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart have launched, Sony's next big first-party games consist of February 2022's Horizon Forbidden West, and beyond that, God of War Ragnarok, Final Fantasy 16, and more. Let me know which games you're hoping to see during the showcase. Personally, give me more God of War. To celebrate its 10th anniversary, THQ Nordic is hosting a digital event on September 17th at 12pm Pacific and 3pm Eastern, with new information on open world RPG, Elix 2, and more. The showcase will be hosted by the Game Awards executive producer Jeff Keighley and will feature six new game announcements. THQ Nordic didn't reveal exactly all of the games that will be featured during the event, but it did tease the return of a legendary franchise that fans have been waiting decades to get their hands on. There will also be new footage for Expeditions Rome. The Time Splitters and Metro franchises are obviously two games that could be the big return that THQ Nordic is talking about, but we won't know for sure until the showcase. Minecraft Live will return in 2021 through a digital showcase that is scheduled for the middle of October. The Minecraft Live event will celebrate all things blocky, promising an epic live stream for fans to tune into. You can look forward to guest appearances by new and familiar faces from developer Mojang Studios, the community at large, and a surprise appearance or two. There will be in-depth interviews, exciting reveals, and lots of puns, Mojang said in its announcement. Part 2 of the Cliffs and Caves update is still on the way, so I'm excited to see if we're going to hear anything about a release date. But between the Skulk stuff and the Deep Dark, there's a lot of things we could possibly learn about during Minecraft Live on October 16th. Bungie revealed the patch notes for its newest Destiny 2 update, which is the first update to come out after the launch of the Season of the Lost. While most of the update is dedicated to bug fixes and tweaks, the most high-profile improvement is the update in cross-platform voice chat. Season of the Lost introduced crossplay in Destiny 2 for the first time, and this hotfix now allows all of those players to actually talk to each other. However, Bungie notes that voice chat on Xbox still has some issues to iron out. Specifically, Xbox privacy settings and mute lists are currently not functioning as intended within Destiny 2. In addition, the update tweaks a handful of problems with weapons and armor. It solves an issue where stasis crystals were doing more detonation damage against players than intended, which could feel like a small nerf against stasis abilities. There is an extensive list of all the patch notes over on GameSpot.com right now if you want to check them out. Ever since THQ Nordic mentioned the return of this legendary franchise, I've been wondering what exactly it could be. So I want you to leave your best guess and your wildest theories in the comments below and let's see who gets it right. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on your next GameSpot news update.